a day well spent is only when you get to meet amazing people with amazing insights and that too in the biotech sector. Right now, I have the ex-director of Monsanto Research Center and principal consultant at uh, Karnataka Biotech Finishing School. And now he is the co-founder of uh, and president of uh, iBiome. Sir, welcome to the session. Thank you, Shekhar. Uh, uh, he is Dr. Jagdish Mittur. And Thank sir, you. Uh, you have been my mentor. You have guided me throughout in my uh, career and my life. And today, now that we are meeting in the 32nd meeting of iBiome, I really want to congratulate you for all the achievements IBM is making and so many entrepreneurs are coming together, CEOs are coming together. So, what was the vision behind IBM? Right. Well, first of all, uh, you are the one who's doing a lot of work. <laughs> it's, e it's easier to be consulted and then mentored and provide a few directions, but you guys are the ones who are doing a lot. And I really thank Biotechnica for the role they've been playing the last, I don't know, 15 plus years, 17 years. 17 years. That's really good. Congratulations. So the vision behind IBOM is to really make it uh, a place that is very informal for people just to walk in. People who have been entrepreneurs already uh, are looking for help, are looking for networking, looking for collaboration. Or people, some many PhDs or uh, postdocs who come back from uh, other countries, they want to do something in India because India is growing, growing very rapidly. Right. So biotechnology sector is a sector that is going to be uh, making a huge difference and it's already made a huge difference. Of course. So IBM is uh, an organization which welcomes people of such uh, desire. Uh, people who have such objectives and they want some local help that we are here to provide and right. hopefully through our biome which can create a platform more of an informal uh, gathering informal interaction so that hopefully they will feel very comfortable uh, because we in IBOM we have a lot of people experts who've been there done there okay right. and around uh, and they're around for guiding other people who are just come into the field right and there are also many many people who are just starting so right. we have a huge uh, spectrum of people with experience in uh, being entrepreneurship. Right. So that's the reason. So that's what we last time we were talking in the bio-entrepreneurship workshop also. So sir, let's uh, take that one step forward and understand if a student or a fresh graduate or postgraduate or a PhD wants to start a company in biotech, with, no matter where in India, what are the challenges they will face and how would IYM come into picture and help them? As long as the student knows exactly what the challenge is in terms of the uh, company that he has to start, what is the company going to do? Where is the end product? Are there enough people to get uh, to buy that end product? Uh, where he can supply? If that, if he has worked that out, then right. for uh, it's easier for us to help him to start a company, right. provide uh, help towards getting infrastructure, uh, human resources, and uh, any other requirements that that young person may have. Approvals. But the but yeah, and, and hopefully guide them guide them for some, uh, you know, funding right. uh, that the funding agencies are there. There are quite a few of them. Right. So you have to have a right application form, all of that. So that can happen uh, right. easily as long as we are uh, we are there to, right. to, to hear them out. Right. Yeah. right. So, sir, what exactly is these meetups which we are planning every one month or two yeah. months we are planning and we are meeting? What are the things we are targeting in these kind of meetups? Well, uh, really, I mean, nothing like interaction in a very informal setting. And I think Rico Park, thanks to uh, the founder CEO and his team, they have provided this space for us to uh, give that inter interaction, a platform for interaction. No nothing works better than when you are really relaxed and thinking about the challenge. And right. when you're bouncing ideas of other persons in the field, then you will get new ideas. Of course. So the whole thing is instead of just being stuck in the lab or stuck in the room, sometimes it may be very dingy and not so uh, energetic and all that. So provide them a, a break every once a month where you right. can meet, uh, you know, and thus far we've been meeting indoors, but this is the first time we're actually meeting outdoors. Right. So actually, no, I mean, I'll, I'll take that back. In fact, uh, 7th of December, I remember that did very well in the month of 2019 before COVID. Actually, mm -hmm. all the IBM people or companies who are uh, be beginning to support the launching of iBiome from BBS, they mm -hmm. came to my village, they came oh, to wow. Mitro. So we had about 20, 25 companies, I think, coming there and interact with the rural students in high school. Wonderful. So to me, that's very, very exciting. Right. So finally, we have to reach out to, you know, right. where, where, uh, where there might be talent, you know, raw talent. 
Right. So that's where, so this is this, well, this once a month meeting provides that opportunity for people to come together and meet each other because of sometimes course. they don't know who they face are. To face. So that's, that's yeah. very important. In WhatsApp group, we really don't know. It just shows some number. But exactly. But when we meet face to face, that's that's how the emotions yeah, exude and the we catch these emotions. Yeah, networking happens. Yes. So, sir, uh, you have been an active dog activist <laughs> till date and uh, you are doing a great job for uh, the street dogs. You yeah. know. Uh, to all the audience out there, uh, any message you would like to give so that they also take care of the sure. dogs actively? Sure, it's, it's my family that has been deeply involved. I want to support from the background uh, at various times and various circumstances. Right. So I think we have to learn the planet Earth is for everybody. Right. Okay, so One Health is something that is really taking up uh, the momentum is gaining. Where, you know, uh, it's not just the humans the planet is for. It's, it's for so it's the for the it's for the en also. environment. It's for the animals. So they That's have right. the same right as we do. Unfortunately, humans are exploding, and people only talk about explosion of dogs, stray dogs mm -hmm. in the in Bangalore. But but I think we have to ask ourselves: Are we exploding? Are we are we curtailing ourselves in terms of uh, increasing mm -hmm. the population? Right. So if if the dogs are there, we need to take care of them. You know, right. uh, take care of them, provide them a humane way of reducing their population because they also get hungry, they also get thirsty. Yeah. So imagine you going or me going thirsty or hungry for more than six hours, forget about 24 hours. Right. So, I mean, I, I, it, you just can't live with that. Right. So provide whatever you can in your right. surroundings. So like Sir said, be human. Yes. Summers are here. Whenever you yes. go on the street, if you find a street dog, please offer some water or food because yes. they don't have a restaurant to go to yes. where they can pay and uh, you know eat. They yeah. depend on us. Yes. Right. Thank you so much, Sir. So one last sure. point sure. Uh, for you. In the last 40-45 years of your career, you have been through a lot of ups, downs, challenges and a lot of achievements also. Uh, there are a lot of young students watching this video. Yes, yes. In, if you could summarize all your journey and if you could tell them something inspirational which will motivate them to achieve and yes. uh, you know uh, become like you, sir. Yes. If you could sure. share something. Well, my journey has been mainly academic and a little bit of industry and also a little bit of government. So I'm fortunate to have had uh, the experience of three pillars of the society. Right. So I'm very, very fortunate for that. So the, the career options are plenty. Uh, only thing is you have to identify where you want to go, which area that you want to really specialize in. Don't, don't keep thinking that I want a job. Say right. that instead of saying I want a job, you say I want to do something about that particular problem we have. Correct. It could be controlling of street dog population. It could be control of disease in agriculture right. or human diseases like cancer, tuberculosis, things like that. If you have that as your target, then easily you will be able to find a job. But if you yeah. think that I just want to find a job, I don't think that helps. So move away from that. Think that the problems you Correct. wish to solve, then I think wonderful. that nature will take, uh, think take, take its course. That's a wonderful line, sir, mm -hmm. said here that you have to solve a problem. You are in this world to solve a problem. Job is a byproduct of your work. Yes. So that's amazing. Thank you so much for, most for your time. Thank and, you. Uh, I'm so happy to be here today. With Thank you. you. And uh, to all our audience, that was Dr. Jag Jagdish Mithur, sir. He has been a pillar of success of Biotechnica. He has been my own personal guru and mentor. And now he is mentoring so many biotech startups through iBiome. So if you are not a part of iBiome, you can always check that out. It's on LinkedIn. iBiome uh, page is there. Also, I believe the website is iBiome.in. Yes, you yes. can visit that. And uh, see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.